It appears the medical supply merchant is now open for business. Still feeling pain? Jesus, oh, that's Take another hurt. green pill, I think. Open the door and nobody gets hurt! Fuck you, Lobo! You keep saying that and then you keep killing my people! Now get Markham down here so I can give her our demands! No more 16-hour shifts, no more docking our pay for missing quotas that nobody could make, no more locking us in the factory so we can't see our families, and most importantly, Lobo, no more you! I'm not bothering the boss with your crybaby bullshit. We'll settle this between us. Then good luck getting through the door, asshole. Cause it's not opening for anybody but- Ah, fuck this. Hey, who are you? Are you the help Markham's been promising me? But damn time. Crow's hiding with her crew in the foundry behind that blast door. Get it open. We can end this bullshit. Carl Ludlow, Markham's chief of security. I'm getting closer to quitting every day. This job is bullshit. No support from management. No respect from the workers. I gotta do it all myself. But I'm not going anywhere until Crow ends her stupid strike. And these fools get back to work making war bots like they're supposed to. They fucking know the gangs are coming, and they still won't pick up their tools. Assholes. The gangs. The warlords of the plains. Liberty's army. They need weapons and vehicles before they make their run on Colorado Springs. And we're their one-stop shop. In a matter of if they're coming, it's when. They're on their way. The Marshals can't spare anybody to protect us, so we gotta protect ourselves. Using the warbots and turrets and guns we're famous for. Problem is, because Crow's on strike, we're not making them. We're gonna get slaughtered. Markham didn't tell you? Christ. Am I the only one who gives a damn around here? Okay, okay, I'll lay it out for you. Crow's a thug. She claims she's fighting for workers' rights. But what she really wants is to kill us all and run the place herself. Either that or let the gangs kill us. She's fucking crazy, that's all. Well, she's tried to kill me a few times, that's for sure. Beyond that, she's refused to work. Smashed up the machines, destroyed finished goods, and incited all the other workers to do the same. And all at the worst possible time. Steel Town is gonna get leveled if the workers don't get back to work. Maybe not here. But there'll be blood in her hands just the same. You better believe it. Without the guns and armor and bots we make, we're all sitting ducks for the warlords and the gangs, and she knows it. The gangs are heading right for us, but does she care? Fuck no. All she cares about are her rights. Selfish bitch. <laughs> sure, if you want to get your ear chewed off. But I guarantee everything she tells you will be a lie. Nothing short of telling her you killed Markham will get her to open that door. Holocomb's right over there. Oh, wait, I blasted it. Sorry. Guess you're out of luck. What? I thought you were bringing me a plan. I've been asking Markham to find me a way through for days. I 
Figured maybe her super genius computation engine could come up with something. Jesus. A heavy duty cutting laser will do it. There is one in the robot factory. It is too heavy for humans to carry. But it would be easy to build a warbot and mount the laser upon it, then bring it here. Huh. <laughs> That's a great idea. You're a genius. Not in the least. All that was required was an evaluation of available resources. Yeah, yeah. Okay then, we got a plan. But it ain't gonna be quite as easy as Dai says. Cause Crow's wreckers are all through the plant, tearing shit up. You have to clear them out before you can build the bot. You up for it? Markham's too soft. These scum don't deserve mercy. But I didn't say kill him. You can use Markham's non-lethal methods if you want. Just be aware they're not gonna do you the same kindness. And also, every minute we waste here, being nice, means the gangs get another mile closer. So ask yourselves what your priorities are. Save a few lives here, or save everybody's lives later. Fine, but trust me, the only way you're gonna get Crow to the table is to get through that door and stick a gun in her face. And for that, you're gonna need the laser bot. Great. All you gotta do is go to each of the stations in the Warbot assembly line, push the buttons to build the bot, and put the laser on it. Then it'll show up back here. Crow's thugs may make a move before that happens, so I'll stay behind to keep this room secure. I'll be here when you get back with the laser. Or you can just stand around here with your thumbs up your asses. Up to you. Who put a brute like this in charge of anything? Scheduling is prime. Return to your house. Call our six with no brakes on crime. Go fuck yourself, robot. Sitting during work hours and blocking access to the warbot assembly line. Violations noted. 
closer. Stop! Who are you? We are the workers who shall not be moved. So you better not try anything. And get this robo-dog away from us. We won't talk till it's gone. I can hear you making fucking fools of yourselves. Don't let those slackers tell you what to do. Kick their asses and get to the assembly line. Time's a wasting. Hmm, you got a point there. All right. Sorry, Fido. Here, boy. Come home. Woof. You better get this done, Rangers. I'm waiting on you. It left. That was amazing. I can't believe you got Lolo to call it off. So, uh, what do you want? Sure. It's not like we're going anywhere. You got an hour? Seriously, there's so much wrong here, I don't know where to start. First off, Ludlow's a shakedown artist, making us pay for food breaks and piss breaks, medical care. On top of that, our schedule is insane. We've been doing 12-hour shifts with no breaks for weeks now. We haven't even been allowed to go home. People are dying at their machines. Markham seems like a reasonable person. But Ludlow won't let us talk to her. He says he's in charge down here, not her. Not the whole cause. There's no way he should have been hired as security chief. But he's not just bad at his job. He's an asshole on purpose. Shouting at us, pushing us around, having his robots reprimand us with disruption weapons. And that's on top of milking us for bribes. Making us pay for all things that would be free in a functional workplace. Bathroom breaks, lunch breaks, even beds. We gotta pay him to sleep. How he ended up in this job isn't as important to me as how he leaves it. We should be feet first in a black bag. Crow may be a little crazy, but her heart's in the right place. She wants us workers to have a fair deal, and she's willing to fight for it. Why not? Ludlow started it. He's killed plenty of us. Not with a gun, maybe, but with the machines that mangle us, the hours that grind us, and the illnesses and injuries that come from that. He didn't listen when we asked politely, so... If violence is the only language he can hear, well, Crow speaks it fluently. Good. Now what? Sorry, being in the way is the only leverage we've got. We're not moving. What? Really? Yeah, that's a good plan. You better not be lying to us. Okay, crew, stand down. Let him through. We're watching you, strangers. Administrator Markham will not be pleased that you failed to return the workers to their jobs. But she will be happy you spared a valuable robot. The assembly line is just north of here. This door leads to a multi-purpose incinerator workspace. I've had to piss for like two hours. I'm Keith, by the way. Fire suppression expert. At least that's what it says on the badge they gave me. Doesn't really take an expert, though. Just a really strong bladder. Well, you stand on this plate and... That's 
it, actually. You just stand on the plate until the next shift comes along. I guess that's you. Oh, that's not good. Watch. Scary, huh? Well, exactly, man. Why do you think I'm so happy to see you? So, can I go? Cause, man, I really gotta go. Thanks. Now, get on the plate. I'll... Ugh. <sighs> 
Reg, I think they mean it. Yeah, Reg. I'll take a zap or two for the cause. I want to see my family again. I'm out. Fucking weekend warriors! Where's your devotion to the cause? Where's your devotion to Crow? All right, you thugs. Guess I'll just fight you myself. I'll send you back to Mark. Thank <laughs> you. 
Right to the exploiters! They get worse! Right?
your neck, oppressor!
back, oppressor!
assembly line terminal on the west side of this room. Of our researchers, has been is a fucking war boss. Device. You turn it a war bomb on your own workers, you sick fuck! Think of it as the world's big. This is Steel Town property. Please do not. Hmm. I see there is no stopping you. So, very well. Please resupply. Hey, you did it! I thought you guys were never coming back. This is great. You good to start cutting? Cause I'm ready to end this. Great. Now here's the plan. Aim that laser at the door and start cutting. When it's open, me and the bots will go in first with you covering us. Then you follow. Shoot anybody that resists. But Crow is mine. Rangers, before we proceed, the Warbot is programmed to respond to threats automatically. If we bring it into the Foundry, it will use lethal force against anyone who threatens us, which would go against Administrator Markham's wishes. If you want to keep the option for non-lethal measures open, I can disable the Warbot after it blasts through the door. Shall I? Very well. I have programmed it to remain inert after it opens the blast door. Ah, you bunch of pussies. Whatever.
lost your chance to talk to Markham when you started this shit, you fucking vandal. We started it? Who's the one who charged us by the minute to visit our families? Who made us pay for first aid? You've been robbing us blind, motherfucker. You're getting fat off our misery! So I don't deserve something for breaking the rules for you? The computation engine says no one leaves the factory till quotas are met. It says one bathroom break per shift. What's wrong with taking a small fee to let you ignore that bullshit? What a humanitarian! Making a bad situation worse so you can profit off of it! And now you're bringing in hired guns to kill us for striking against it all. How can you assholes stand with that creep? I'm mad, but at least you didn't kill any of my people. And I appreciate that. More than they fucking deserved. You think I would have just stood there and took it if they were shooting at me? Everything was fine until this bitch started acting up. We had a smooth system going. We took care of the workers, and the workers took care of us. Uh, when I say us, I mean the factory, right? Everybody was happy. A smooth system for getting you paid, Ludlow! Shut your trap, Crow. All of a sudden, she starts getting the workers mad about stuff that wasn't a problem before. Breaks aren't long enough, food ain't good enough. Wants extra pay for double shifts. And when I try to tell her the gangs are coming, and if she goes on strike, she's gonna get us all killed, the crazy cow starts smashing up the place and saying that it makes the perfect time to strike. That's because us workers know the only time the bosses will lift a finger to save our lives is when theirs are on the line. It started when Markham hired Ludlow and sicked him on us. All of a sudden, things that had been rights were now privileges. Privileges we had to pay for. Need to go to the bathroom? Pay Ludlow. Want to see your kids? Pay Ludlow. Have an accident on the floor and need medical attention? Pay Ludlow. I told you, I was helping you out. Giving you a way around Markham's rules. For a small fee, of course. Fuck off, you slime. We don't even know if they are Markham's rules. Because the one thing we couldn't pay you to do was take our grievances upstairs! No amount of money was enough to get us a face-to-face -face with the boss, was it? The boss doesn't need to be bothered with your petty bullshit. Particularly when we need to be cranking out warbots and turrets to protect ourselves from the coming of the gangs. She gave me the authority to handle you. And you abused that authority! You beat my workers half to death when we went on strike! You put Danny Chan's hand in the hydraulic press! He'll never work again! Simple. Get rid of Ludlow, let us see our families, and we get back to building the gear that'll protect us all from the gangs. We won't even bitch about having to sleep in the factory until the end of the push. Don't listen to her. You give her an inch, she'll take a mile. It'll never end with her. Not until she runs the damn place. And if that happens, the plane's gangs will steamroll us. You can start by arresting Crow. Once she's gone, the rest of the workers will calm down. Once they do, I'll forget the whole thing. They can go back to work like nothing happened. No recriminations, no revenge. I'm not a guy to hold a grudge. <laughs> okay, and if you believe that, I have a palace in Broadmoor Heights I want to sell you. Once I'm gone, you can bet everybody who stood with me will get the axe, one way or the other. 
Oh, yeah? Oh, boy. I can't wait. This man is corrupt. Arrest him. Nobody runs this place but me. Robots, kill these fucking mercs.
okay. Ah, take it easy for a second. You want the factory to fail so bad? Crow can have it. Now what's it gonna be for me? Don't suppose I'm uh, free to go, huh? Fuck. Guess it beats getting dead. This is Ranger HQ Actual. Come in, Team November. Team in route, November. Ranger HQ out. Thanks for taking out Ludlow. I don't think we would have beat him by ourselves. Now, are you gonna take our demands to Markham, or are we gonna have to do this dance all over again? Just another refugee from the Eastern Plains, you know. Farm burned, folks killed, taken by slavers. A thousand people around here with the same story. Only difference is, I got an ornery streak in me. I fought back, killed my owners, escaped, came here. Thought things were gonna be better. And for a while, they were. Got hired at the factory, started getting paid. But then, the conditions got worse. And Ludlow got hired and started stealing our wages. Suddenly, it was pretty much slavery again. And well, I wasn't gonna stand for that. Guess you know the rest. Like I said, Ludlow was the tipping point. But things were already getting weird. Markham started relying on her computation engine to make all her decisions, setting 14-hour shifts, hiring people based on these crazy tests. And that's how I got hired. I mean, here's me with my history of killing former employers, and the test said I had an obedient personality. I was glad to get the job, but what the hell? Only a computer would think putting a born shitstirrer like me in a slave pit and hiring a gaping asshole like Ludlow to watch over me was a good idea. She's smart. At least she was. Built Steeltown up from nothing. Made it a place where just about anybody could get a job and do okay. Now though, well, if she's not careful, it's gonna blow. Everybody hates her these days. Her employees, the refugees she won't hire, the families of the workers who are trapped inside. I don't know what she thinks she's doing, letting that computer make all her decisions for her, but it ain't working. Maybe somebody else needs to be in charge.
Have you resolved the situation in the factory? This just confirms my suspicions. The computation engine highlighted Ludlow as a peacemaker and negotiator. Something's definitely gone wrong with it. So the workers are back to work? Fine, I'll talk to her. Just as soon as we start getting things out the door again. You've done good work. Let me pay you for it. But don't go anywhere. I have another job for you. Before I handed the creation of the computation engine over to Die, it was the project of my partner, Blue. Sadly, Blue and I had a little falling out over design decisions, and now he's my ex-partner. Anyhow, when he left, he stole a gizmo called the Synaptic Degausser, which is the only tool that can fix the engine without me having to redesign it from the ground up. And there's no way that's happening before the gangs get here. So get me back to Degausser, and you get another paycheck. Oh, and you better take Die with you again. She knows what the damn thing looks like. Out in the scrapyard someplace, leading some other ex-workers of mine who've decided to get back at me for my crimes by vandalizing my factory and stealing my shipments. The refugees out there call them the Ghost Gang because no one knows where their hideout is. I call them losers. Couldn't hack real work, so now they're playing at bandits. Pathetic. Good. We don't have long before the gangs get here. So sooner is better than later. The stability of Colorado is at stake, not to mention the lives of everyone here in Steeltown. Now get going. 